Will you marry me? Nah, no, fuck. So we brought in some of the wonderful talent today. We got Trey, Young Trigger, we got Brandon, <laughs> the man who got rejected, and we're gonna be reading out some of the mean comments that you, the public, left us. And brought in uh, action. Okay, this one's from uh, at a new moody. Uh, now that I know about this tasteless approach, I will never check out this company again. Losers. You're the loser, mate. But like Malcolm McCaffrey is saying lucky lad. Damn right, it's lucky she said no, so you have to get off. Alright, what's this? Alright. Are these Leeds Uni tickets? Right, but don't, don't go too, too, too cute <laughs> Um, Megan Price. Um, guy's so skinny, he can paraglide with a Dorito. Um, I'll have you know. I don't, I don't need a Dorito because I've just turned my head to the side, snapped this off, and glad with that one. Luke Russell uh, is like he's written his fucking dissertation. Jesus. Here. As soon as I saw the writing on the back of his top, I knew it was a marketing stunt. I love how the mouthpiece for this company talks like he is some kind of creative genius. All he's done is copy millions of others. If I was a brand, I would definitely not engage with this kind of activity as it immediately damages that brand for me as a consumer. Pay proper advertising, you cheap bastards! <laughs> yeah, well look, you know what, f*** you and you can f*** off too. Yeah. Got Hallison, Pistick, the all I got that idea from fake proposals that are often done in American football. F*** American football, we play soccer over here, f*** you too. Ben Markson says, this lad has soft hands, I can see them from here. <laughs> you need help. And Lewis has responded, they should have listened to my digital strategy plan. It didn't include this. And a response from uh, Bradley saying, I hope your strategy is good, lad. It's going to be an interesting read. Lewis has responded, definitely a first place, lad. Put in a good word. Why am I struggling to read? Some blowers. This was about entertaining. This was about entertaining. I was watching my mum and dad go away. Yeah, it was kind of live, you know. You'd still you know? watch them, wouldn't you? Jason Anthony, cons. Go suck yourself. Billy Evans says, What's that girl's name? I swear I saw with a black guy on the same day. <laughs> None of your business? You like to get busy? <laughs> Bit of BBC. <laughs> Fran Francesca Wee. Lucky girl. I wouldn't have gone for him either. Um, um, so, Annie Thompson says, The guy. Looks like um, he pisses sitting down. And I'll tell you something, right? Pissing sitting down, we all do it. It's a little treat. It's a little treat in the morning when you're a bit tired. It's, it's one of them, you keep your eyes closed, don't want to lose any tired on the way to the toilet. You're not going to stand there, all right, us lads. We like to treat ourselves every now and again. So you know what, on that one, you're on point. Yeah, I can't sit down when I go in the morning, though, you know, bro. I think that... Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Mark Reynolds. Of course, everything in this world is about marketing. God, please, let me witness a rich man getting slapped around by a chimpanzee and not having to be staged for publicity. <laughs> if you can provide the chimpanzee, then we've got plenty of people That's to slap them out. out. Yeah, 100%. Gus McDuff, specially in guerrilla marketing, first of all, about three people took any notice of what was going on, and I dare say that they were probably in on it anyway. Secondly, there's nothing gorilla about putting your brand name in big ball lettering on the back of a jacket. Yeah, but you probably still buy the jacket anyway. Um, this guy felt like a Corona bottle. Oh, long neck, I think, or is it the virus that has spread? I'll never know. So, Paul Nottingham comments: I've seen better acting from Gail Platt. Someone respond. <laughs> uh, Billy Michael says, lad's got a face for radio. <laughs> um, okay. Quick about them. Fantastic marketing campaign. To be honest, 40 pounds for all those website hits, fair play. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Ryan Mercer. Do you want to read this one? Uh, this guy would have a better chance on the undateables. 
Right, Mesa, where's your gown? Where is your gown? Where is your gown? Mark Hoggins, mm. why would he be gutted if it was staged? Clickbait, for God's sake. Um, well, Mark, um, it wouldn't look real. Hey, Katie, Katie Wallace uh, tagged Lewis White saying, I'm triggered and you can see why. I apologize, Katie, we don't mean to trigger you. We've got um, <laughs> official Shane. Actually, no, big up Shane. This is Shane from, from Northern Block. If you check that Northern Block, go check them out. Yeah, they've got good ice cream stores. They're they're nice. Best ice cream. Shane said, It's a madness! Full madness. Full madness. Shane, I'm with you. It is a total madness. Watch out for what we obviously get up to together. Madness. So I'm William, right, so this guy is a melt. All right. Um, I think we'll just say to, to Don William, fine. You don't have to watch it, you don't have to open the articles. All of this is choices they've made mm -hmm. in their day. You've helped, you've helped by it, so you've you made clean. this for yourself. It's just another view to us, so it don't matter, mate. See you later, Don William. This doesn't make me want to read the Yorkshire Post. Advertising in false pretenses, in a way, feel cheated, negative experience, and somehow counterproductive. Oh well, I know for next time. I mean, David, you've taken time out of your day to write that, so you might as well. He knows, he knows for next time. Yeah, you know for he next, knows time. next time. If you ever see me again, we still fooled you because you still read the headline, you still clicked on it, and you still took time out of your day to write that comment here. And think about Thank you. Okay, so Jenny KR said, I'd rather be lactose intolerant and swimming in a lake at Bill than watch this again. Wow. Uh, one from uh, Molly Rose Lloyds. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, one more time. It's up. Oh, oh my god! So many G's on this one. I feel so sorry for him. Why? Why? Like, why? Why yeah. do you feel sorry? Do you know him? No, you don't. No. So why do you feel sorry? With a, with, a, with a name like Molly Rose Lloyd, like Pork Lloyd, I feel sorry for you. I don't know. Yeah. No more red meat, please. No more red meat. It's haram. Um, we've got, uh, <laughs> that's my girlfriend. Tom Claire, rejection has never looked so good. You would know. Pete Sully, get injected like that. This guy definitely puts on socks before boxes. He put on socks before boxes. Hang on, no. How does, he's not gonna know, is he? Jamie Gold says this guy looks like Morty. Um, <laughs> well. well. Wow. Uh, Ray, wow. Well, well, I actually think, Brian, I think you've got to deal with this one. This yeah. is, yeah, that's it, that's this guy. Yeah. Ray 247, 24-7 now, cool man. So, Ryan 247, so deep though, but the guy, but they guy, looked like a toilet brush, to be honest. And I'll tell you this, Ryan, all right, 247, whatever that stands for, I, I, I might look like a toilet brush, all right? I might do, but you're a right? And you're always gonna be a right? Um, didn't that? Yeah. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, fuck it, we'll win. How dare you think you can just come and do this in the middle of Leeds? Shamless. <laughs> shamless. <laughs> what a shamless. So, Bartos Bielaski said, soon people won't be able to open their mouths without risking offending other people. He was a tricky part, you don't get offended if your opinion itself doesn't offend other people. Given that who is the problem, the one that offends or the one that offended. The one that offends just gives his opinion. You know what, shut the fuck up. I can't just shut the fuck up. Thank you to everyone for your lovely comments. Although we are making light of this situation, uh, we put ourselves in this position. Many don't. Trolling online is a serious problem. If these or any issues raised in this are affecting you, please make sure to contact a local charity like Young Minds, Teen Help, and Mindwell Leads. These are all local Leeds-based companies that are designed to help you online.